We hit 33 at the last chance at this chase. Two miles free. Card, Radio Song, Derek Inton, 5 to 4 favourite, Bull Nakano, Mark Cooper, 2 to 1. You also got Orchard Town Lady at 18 to 1, and that's Cherry as a classic approach, 18 to 1 at Fort Lodge. Just a full one as welcome to the track. Uh, Mark Cooper having two throws at the dice to try and get level with, Mark, with Martin Leiden on top. Patrick Ogden scored it at Sandown, done as another on two now. Settling on down and Bull Nakano, but now Radio Song's come through on the inside. And Radio Song leads by a length from his second place, Bull Nakano. On the inside of that one's Classic Approach, Orchestown Lady, just a poor one as they jumped that one, they all jumped it well. And uh, they come across to the next one, they turn left handed to it, it's a ditch. And they'll just be about two miles from home when they come towards this one at Fort Lodge. And Radio Song by a couple of lengths. Come down towards it. Jumps it well. And they all four jumped it. The grey at the back, Orchard's Town Lady was a slower than the other three. But set on down, Radio Song jumps that well. And they all jumped out. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Perhaps I need to check this course at uh, Fort Lodge. Jump that one, Radio Song, by a couple of ends from Bull Nakano, who lends away to Classic Approach, and Orchard Town Lady. You're wondering what that little circle was there, it's because the waypoint uh, must be really close to each other, and it causes a bit of a glitch like that. But it's it's okay, and it might happen once or twice during the meeting. Now, Radio Song leads by a couple of lengths. Bull Nakano in second. It sometimes happen when you build courses. You double click and you don't realize you've double clicked the waypoint. And Radio Song leads from Bull Nakano. And then comes Orchard's Town Lady and Chester Approach, but it doesn't affect the race at all. So there's no need for a stooge inquiry. Yeah. Radio Song, he's by a couple of from Bull Nakano in for a classic approach, and then a gap to Orchard's Town Lady, the grey. The only grey in the race. And they're jumping this one, a good jump by Radio Song. Three to pull in clear of Bull Nakano on the outside of Classic Approach. Got also six marker, the swing right handed to the ditch. Radio Song comes towards it. Jumped up well, a couple of clear of Classic Approach in second. Bull Nakano in third and Orchard's Town Lady has dropped out and jump in that one. Well, they all jumped it safely, I think. And Radio Song's three lens clear of Classic approaching second down towards the next. And back in third, Bull Nakano. Looks like the only one that Mark Cooper can rely on to try and close that gap on Martin Lee. They're going to swing right handy now. They've got two fences on this side, next part of the track. For the head room and Radio Song by two lengths from Bull Nakano in second and back in third is Classic Approach and Notice Town Lady still not on the pitch. I jumped that one. Although he was a bit low with it, Bull Nakano got away with it and jumped it quite fast in the end and leads by half length. That lit great leading. Sorry about that, I got tongue tied and I jumped that one. Bull Nakano's hit the front now, there's still one more left to jump. And then a short run in and Bull Nakano is a two limbs clear on the radio song. Classic approach is trying to stay on in third. Down towards last, Bull Nakano jumps it well. And up towards line, leads from radio song in second. Back in third is Classic approach. And that will draw in level. Matt Cooper with Martin Leiden on ten winners each. 
comes to a close in part of the st- season. Next week we'll finish off with the end of the season at Ain Street. And the winner was Bill McCarnell. Second, the radio song. Classic approaching third. And fourth, Orchestown Lady was a distance away. <laughs>